Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Deploy Football TV. We're here at the opening ceremony of Jamison Park, Nepean FA's brand new state-of-the-art double synthetic football facility. Um, we're here checking out the opening ceremony. We're going to talk to Linda and the guys here at Nepean FA, and we're going to check out their brand new summer comp. Let's go. great addition to our local community that will make sport more accessible regardless of the weather, uh, which I think is absolutely critical for being able to make sure people can get out, be healthy, be active. Just one lost weekend or one lost night can have a profound impact on the quality of a competition. And so the ability to be able to capture those or recoup those events, play uh, matches on a facility and surface like this, I think just is profound for an organisation of that size. And it's not just my vision, it's a vision that's shared by, by our board of directors too, is that this space be a space where the community comes together to get healthy, to win contests, to develop skills, forge friendships and catch up with mates. And what I hope to see when we're not on it is somebody on it. I don't care what shape ball, what shape bat they use, it really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is that people are not on their couch. They're out here, they're in the sunshine, they're getting healthy. I'd like to just congratulate everyone that's had a key role in this. I think you've all done an amazing job. And thank you for putting up with me for the last 10 years of my bleaching. I finally got it, so I might be quiet for just a little while. Thank you. We're here today with the CEO of Nepean Football Association, Linda Sarone. Linda, hey. how good is this? Your brand new uh, facility, this 10 is, years in the making? Yeah, 10 years in the making. Um, yeah, it's a dream come true for us. Um, it's great, love it. It's, and it's great being down here while, while it's being used because yeah, that's when absolutely. you really get a sense of the energy. And absolutely. And this is your second night or second week of your brand new summer comp. The kids are obviously loving it at the moment. Yeah, um, it's yeah. fantastic. So, how's the summer comp going for you, and what are the plans with it moving forward? Well, you know, the summer comp started last week, which was the wettest week in November that we've had, you know, in the history of forever. <laughs> that's what it felt like, yeah. anyway. Um, and and that's what, yeah, that's what we got to see it in action. We got to yeah. see it um, going underwater and then draining within about 10 minutes, and not missing a beat. We didn't miss a single game. Um, the people that were on it were loving it. They yeah. were they were just loving the fact that they were playing in the you know in the rain and not having their sport cancelled. And really, that's ball. what underpins the whole synthetic yeah. um, ideal. Really, is that yeah. we're not cancelling sport, we're not cancelling events that people are really looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what's the main purpose of the field? Like, what are you going to be using it for in the winter season? Who's going to be playing here? And then in the off seasons, what's it going to be used for? Okay, so the field doesn't um, hasn't been assigned to any one club. Yep. Um, it's it's a field for everyone at Nepean Football. So we'll be using it for for matches. Obviously, we're using it for summer football. We'll be using it for coach education, um, skill development. Yep. Um, match of the round, uh, yeah, anything, any, anything where we need, especially where we need to be guaranteed that our event can go ahead and that we're not having to cancel it because, because of a you know, poor, poor surface. Um, we're really hoping that we can give everybody a go on this. You know, our special needs group want to come on here and they want to play and they'll be welcome to come and play on it. Our, our rep teams, um, who currently are a little bit disadvantaged in that, that they don't have a, a synthetic pitch um, and and they can't train on one, so then when they go to play on one, they, you know, uh, are somewhat disadvantaged. So, uh, yeah, if it's not us and if it's not the round ball, as long as there's people on here that are not on their couch, they're not in front of their yeah. their devices, they, you know, they're out in the fresh air, they're exercising, they're, getting on with their mates, that's, that's it, that's yeah. serving its purpose. 
and season 2022 obviously we've had two interrupted seasons with COVID 2022 touch would we finally get a full year what can we expect what can the players of the NFA expect <laughs> The Ruby League, the Waratah League, and have their matches of the rounds. Ruby and Waratah League, well, the, last year was our inaugural year for those two competitions, and of course they only got, um, uh, you know, partway through the competition, uh, you know, when COVID took care of everybody, really. So we're really hoping to, to be able to get all the way to the end to see what that competition looks like and to really allow it to build the momentum um, that, that we were hoping it was going to build last year. Um, as far as um, the rest of the competitions, look, we saw huge growth in, in numbers of teams and numbers of registrations last year. We hope that that's going to continue this year and that, that people haven't lost faith in, in community sport being able to yeah. be delivered. Um, I certainly don't think they have, based on the inquiries that we're getting. Um, we've, got a, we've got a great program coming up for female coaches. Um, which has come out of, of some work that uh, Football New South Wales' female coaching network has been doing. Yeah. Uh, so we hope to, uh, with the investment that we've made into female coaches, we hope to have 90 new female coaches. Yeah. One at each level for each club within our district um, and that's fully funded by the association. So we're really, uh, we're really excited to be rolling that one out. Um, lots and lots of mini news, kickstart programs, they're good. proving so so good for clubs a, as a nursery program. Yeah. Um, yeah, so business as usual plus a little bit more, that's what we're hoping for. The kickoff programs are a key, uh, those who know me from my time at Hills Football, kickoff programs were invaluable to getting the kids into the game and then, and then hopefully nursing them yeah. through to the threes, fours, fives and getting them into the club football once they come of age. But. Um, now look, congratulations for all your hard work oh, for this facility. Uh, congratulations for everything you've done personally for the association. I've watched it for quite a long time. Um, and look, Deploy, once again, we're so proud to be partnering with such great community organisations like Nepean Football. And, you know, it's, it's our role as a community organisation to provide the best value for money footballs for guys like yourself. So we're honoured to be here. Thanks for inviting us down. Well, and, you know, uh, that's what you guys do. Yeah. And, and we can't do it without the support that we get from organisations like Deploy, where, you know, the really big message that comes out whenever we deal with your company is just, it's not about the dollars. And, you know, everyone needs the dollars, we get that. But it, that's just never what we've got from Deploy. It's always been about looking after us. What can we help? What can we do to value add? What can we do to, yeah. to help make your, your space a better place? So. You know, Appreciate for that. sponsorship on that level, that's just worth... Oh, uh, we've just been nearly hit by a drone. But, uh, <laughs> that's worth way more dollars than, than you can ever put on sponsorship. No. So thank you for your support over the years and we hope that no, continues. It's, it's our pleasure and we'll yeah, be here as long as you're here. So Excellent. once again, thanks again. Great. Thank um, Jamison Park, it's amazing. I can't wait to come and kick a ball here myself. Yeah, great. So I wanted to take a second to answer a few questions we received often about the black scuff marks on our balls, um, especially when you're playing with them on AstroTurf. So the issue is these, these black infills, these rubber infills that are on the Astro pitches, especially when it's hot in summer football, it scuffs the ball up. <laughs> so if you see here, it's just the, the rubber burning onto the, the ball itself. You can actually just rub it off. If you see, I just rub it with my finger here. It does actually come off. So at the end of your games, just get a damp cloth, give it a rinse down and it'll look brand new. It doesn't affect the ball. But here at Deploy, we're actually trying to develop um, a new outer layer right now. We've got some testing going. Um, we've got some prototype balls for next summer. So we should see uh, a brand new prototype ball coming out soon that doesn't allow the scuff marks, especially from these Astro pitches. We've got some massive news as well to share today. Um, we're gonna do some separate vlogs on them on their own, but um, wanted to share that we're now official partners of North Coast Football, which is the Grafton and Coffs Harbour regions of New South Wales. Plus we're also an official community match ball partner for Football Victoria. So basically all clubs in Football Victoria um, can now use the deploy footballs legally. Um, Football Victoria have a stringent testing program where they only allow five brands or five partners and luckily enough deploy is one of those five so 
massive news keep an eye out for the vlog it'll be coming out in the next week or so and lastly got some pretty cool news we've got a new member here at team deploy um, he or she we don't know yet we need your help um, we've got a giant mascot coming um, it's going to be a giant stealth football um, we don't know what to call he or she yet so please comment below what you think we should call our mascot um, the mascot's going to be visiting clubs, associations, fields and locations all next year. So we're so excited to get the mascot out there. But thanks again for joining us here. Thanks again to everyone at Nepean Football Association, to the opening of the brand new Jamison Park. Thanks guys, see you soon. How you doing, Kat?